guys welcome back to the channel so recently i had a trip to the coast and i noticed something particularly going wrong with my cooling system as you guys know i installed the motor rad 192 thermostat normally it runs at 192 but as i was taking the trip i was going through the coastal roads all those nice driving roads i noticed that the temperature wasn't going below like 195 it started hitting me you know probably the thermostat something's going wrong with the thermostat because every time it would slow down temperature would start rising but it wasn't very consistently it was kind of all over the place either way guys i ordered the stat 190 and honestly it's a way better thermostat than the motor ride instead of running at 190 what the thermostat was claiming it was actually running and depending on the temperature and how hard i was on the throttle from 188 to 186 so honestly i was really satisfied with the thermostat all right guys so this is the thermostat that i installed in the car well the actual thermostat's not in here it's already in the car because i installed it i didn't make a video about that because you guys already seen that but this is the stat super stat it's a 190 unit and honestly it's been working pretty well i've been really satisfied with the, with the results so in the box right now we should have the 192 for motor rad and upon inspection, it actually looks fine. You know, the, the springs seem pretty well. I just don't know why it was running at 195, but I was halfway in my trip and I didn't really want to risk it. So I started looking at new thermostats when I was at the hotel. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference in performance. I haven't really raced anybody, but as soon as I do, well, we'll see what the outcome is and how the car is performing and how the car is heat soaked after a full, full, full throttle application, you know, at, not to top speed, but a full acceleration with the car when I'm racing somebody. But also, guys, when you replace your thermostat, of course, you're going to spill coolant. So there's some options you can do to replace it. You can either get the 50-50, which we have right here, and the part number is on the back. I think it's 68, 16, 38, 49 AB. So it's a 50-50. You don't have to add no water. But it's going to cost you a little bit more. But if you buy the concentrated, you're also going to have to get the distilled water that goes with it. And this is a little bit less expensive, so it's better on the wallet if you buy the, the concentrate, but you're going to have to mix it yourself. But I did, this is what I use when I refill the, the cooling system. I just use the 50-50 mix that I made myself. The coolant and the, the, the distilled water. But next time, I think I, I'm going to go with this one. That's why I bought it, because it was a little bit trickier. I don't want to do any more measuring, so this is a good bet to go with. But anyways, guys, just an update for you guys that we did switch the thermostat because the motor rad unit was starting to fail. I don't know how much longer it's gonna last, but me to be, I don't wanna risk it. So I just went ahead and ordered it and added this one that was highly recommended. So I'll be trying to keep you guys updated with this thermostat and see what I think. But so far it's been running cooler and it's been cooling down a little bit quicker. So I'm really happy with it. I'm not truly gonna know until I actually start driving the car and keep it on for at least several months to see how the heat fluctuates. But so far, this is a really good thermostat and it does outperform the motor rad. So I highly recommend this one over the motor rad so far. Anyways, guys, this was just a real quick update on the car where it's at right now. And I'll keep you guys updated. Well, guys, stay tuned for the updates. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys till next time.